Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People feel you with doubt, just start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only got one chance and got one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count So lose your worries, let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out, I ain't never gonna slow down Time on fake friends. I just wanna get high. I just wanna get high. I just wanna get high. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Tina Cohen vlog. Tina here. I'm driving around on the North Shore of Oahu, and wherever you guys are, whatever you guys are up to today, do not forget to smile because I woke up in a really, really good mood. I figured out today is a great day for me to finally, finally show you guys something that I'm really, really excited about. And I just, ah, today's gonna be so good. But um, before you guys decide to be upset with me that I am driving and filming, I'm gonna put down this camera. I'm gonna pull over to the side and talk to you in just a little bit. But I just wanted to say hi, I got excited. I am so glad that you guys are here. I missed you guys since last week and today's gonna be a good one. Today's gonna be a good day. I bought the car of my dream. I have wanted this car for so long. I'm just like, I can't believe that this car right here is legit like mine. I woke up super duper excited like I told you guys because I get to share this news with you. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go through explaining to you why I got this car and like why it was my dream car for so long because it has been and I'm just like like there's like way nicer like luxury cars. I know that this is kind of more of a rugged car, but like that's why I wanted it. Like it all makes sense. You'll you'll get it. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the interior and I am really excited because I've had this car for a couple months now and I've had the chance to kind of get used to it, learn more about it, and have my own opinions about things. Also on top of that, I've had the time to add a few little features here and there that I thought the car really needed and so I'll explain all that to you, but just a disclaimer real quick, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this car fully. I wish it was sponsored. That would be epic. I want to let you guys know that this is more of those like relatable car videos maybe. I, I've always knew that I wanted this car but I kind of wanted to learn like little things about it so I watched some YouTube videos but they're like car experts that were explaining the car. Car experts. As someone like me who's just like not a car person at all, I understood most nothing of their lingo. I don't really understand cars at all. They just spoke a foreign language to me most of the time in that video. So if you guys want a more relatable real car video, this is the one for you. But um, I'm like boiling. If you guys can see, I'm like sweating. I'm breaking out. It's like, it's a really hot winter, you guys. It's January. It's still winter. And it's like, I'm so sweaty and so hot. I'm going to turn the AC on. Just cooling off in here in my wind tunnel. But this is actually a good time to explain to you that the AC in here is amazing especially if you live somewhere tropical like me and need this right now so good so good okay let me turn this down so then i can actually talk to you guys because that is loud so starting off with the basics this is a 2022 forerunner the premium sr5 edition um four-wheel drive there are some fun off-roading places that i'm excited to go to one day and actually that might be a fun vlog i got the pass a permit to go out there with my car so that's all a plus and i feel like that'd be a really epic vlog actually 
we should keep that in mind. And I got the the SR5 Premium because that has a really good resale value here in Hawaii. I did a lot of research on if and when I ever want to resell my car, um, what would hold value. And these Toyota cars are really, really, really loved here on the islands. Between a Toyota Tacoma and a Toyota 4Runner, they are the two most wanted cars in Hawaii, which is actually a fun fact, I guess. To us, it's very common. We all know this fact, but to other people, I guess it's not really known as much. I used to have a Mazda 3, which was incredible. So reliable. I had it for years and years, and it had great gas mileage everything about it was awesome but it was very very simple it didn't have enough room in the car for a board which was that's not that great when you're a surfer like me definitely not a plus in my life um but i felt like it got me to point a and to point b really well i'm doing great at english today by the way okay What was I even saying? Um, I was talking about my Mazda 3 and how awesome it was. I remember now. I got the Mazda 3 because I was going to university. I was going to UH and it was like a lot of driving and I didn't, it was a time where I wasn't really into surfing as much as I am now because I was very, very, very focused in my schooling and I'm very glad that I got my majors done and got my degrees and all that. But after I got out of college, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> my board doesn't fit in my car. So when I go and drive to town to go surf, after that, I would have to go straight back home because I was like, I can't go to the grocery store or go hiking or anything else after because what if someone steals the board off my car? I mean, it's not that hard, right? It's just like thin straps. If they wanted to, they could get scissors and just cut them off and steal my board it's like not rocket science unfortunately the fact the board fits in my car that was a game changer like major game changer so this is what i look at all the time when i'm driving this car it's actually really really simple of a steering wheel which i like there's this new feature that that toyota finally added which keeps you in the lanes and kind of lets you know if you are swerving and that's something that this model didn't have till this year so that's kind of exciting although i don't really use it because the roads in hawaii are so bad so it can't figure out where the lines are that's a fun fact, I guess, from Hawaii. But yeah, the roads here are so bad. I mean, that's why I got four wheel drive because I need it to like just drive on the main road. But I'm really excited because this has the push to start. I never had that before. And I also never had a touch screen. I also never had Bluetooth. I never had the CarPlay. Why is it doing that? Do you guys see that? Okay, well, it doesn't look like that in real life. That looks like my car is already broken. I don't know why it's doing that. It's like the lighting, I think. All these things are really, really, really exciting for me. And then something that has come from my last car to this car, there's actually only one thing. And it is this right here. This is a Japanese good luck charm from a temple from Japan. My mom was visiting Japan and going to see our family over there and she went to a temple and got me this when I was I think 16 or 17. She was worried that I would crash if I learned how to drive and it's kept me good luck. Maybe it was because of this that I am an excellent driver even though I am Asian and a woman. I know how those things go. I'm a great driver. I only hit a few things like pole. I've hit our gate. I've hit our, I hit trash cans. Another fun thing about the car that I know is like not super duper important but exciting is that there is a sunglass compartment up here blenders buttertron ones that i absolutely adore bam i always have them in the car and they match my car like i'm vibing so hard right now it's so good i also want to show you that in this center console i actually have this little tiny compartment on like the lid part so like this is how it looks and then you open it and it's like on the lid and i fit in all my insta 360 cameras here is the one x2 that i absolutely love the 360 camera the angles that you guys saw in the very beginning where the camera is sticking out of my car i use this camera with this pole so I have the whole setup in my little center console thingy my jig. I have the Minion Go 2. You guys know this is one of my favorite cameras. And last but not least, you guys can't go anywhere without the pendant mount, which I use to be hands off, especially when driving. I like to have this ready to go so I can just put it on my chest and it just clips on. Let me show you. So it's super duper simple. It's actually my favorite when driving. And that's why I have it in my car at all times because like you never know when you want to like get a pretty driving segment so like okay so here's the pendant and i just put it like on the inside if you're wearing a shirt just like put it under your neck and then 
the go to camera the minion edition one of my favorite ones i like the normal one too but this one's just so cute okay and then you just it's magnetic and it just like sits there there we go easy peasy i love it and then you can get the angles of me driving and that way i don't have to hold the camera and talk to you guys because you guys are always getting so mad at me but what if i'm wearing this right insta360 is actually sponsoring this video that's why you guys saw a bunch of the clips in the beginning and i am so grateful to have sponsors like this so thank you insta360 for supporting me supporting my journey getting me to the place where i could buy my car like it's all the support that i get from my sponsors and all that i hustle i work really hard but without that I wouldn't be anywhere. So thank you Insta360 for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check out their cameras, it is in the description below. This is the Go 2 and this is the One X2. I personally like this one with the hat cam vibes or this pendant one. And then the One X2 I use on this pole, which gets really long. The pole fits even fully extended in my entire car. You guys can't even see it, but I'm really excited about that. <laughs> I'm going to show you a little bit more about my car because I get distracted and let me explain to you something about the back because the back is really exciting. Actually a huge game changer um, from my Mazda 3 to this car. It's a massive upgrade and that really makes me excited. All right, let's head to the back of the car. Okay, we just got to the back of the car. I act like it's like a journey. We just made it all the way to the back of the car. Ugh. This is the setup I roll around everywhere with. I have my Wave Bandit soft skim board because you never know when it's a good day to go skimming. And what if you're like bummed that you didn't have your skim board with you? So that fits perfectly in there. And then I have a leash, a wax that I have here in this little compartment. And then I have this tote bag. Let me explain to you what's in the tote bag. Okay, so let me explain to you what is in this bag that I carry around in my car at all times. A towel. You got a bikini, you have a skim board, you're like, perfect, I'm gonna go in the water. Then you come out of the water and you're like, I don't have a towel. You're like, wait, no I do. I am so on it. But what if, what if it's just a nice day and you don't feel like skimming, you just wanna like lay out? Well, we have a pareo for that because you know, Sometimes you just want to chill at the beach, but you don't want to like mess up your towel and get it all sandy. So you have this as a lay down towel and then this as a drying towel. And while you're laying out, you're probably sweating, you're probably hot. So you need a water. You gotta stay hydrated at all times. And then, okay, so what if you get to the side of the road and you're like, oh, the waves look so good, but it's kind of cold and it's kind of raining, but I'm also not super duper sure if the waves are good yet. So. I got my umbrella to keep me dry while I check the waves. You following? You following? But then you're like, okay, the waves are actually good. Now I'm cold and all I have is a bikini. So then you go to the car and you're like, wait a minute, I'm so on it. I have a Buell wetsuit in the car, right? Right? Then you're warm and then you come back and you can drink some water because you were so tired from surfing in cold weather. <laughs> And then you're cold, so you have a towel and you can dry off. But then what if you're like extra cold, right? You have a pareo to like wrap around you after. And that is what I have in my bag. <laughs> People that watch my vlogs must think I'm crazy. But it all makes sense. And that's why this is all in my car. I'm done. But that lives there. And this lives here. This lives here. And I love how spacious it is. Actually, fun fact, when I was going to check out other cars, I knew I wanted this car, but I kind of was like curious to check out other cars just because I wanted to be smart about my decisions and whatnot. And every time they'd ask me if I want to know more about the car, and I was like, wait, before we go any further, can I take this tape measure and measure the inside of the car? Because my goal was that it had to fit at least a few longboards in it for me to even be interested in buying a car. And so every time I would go to the dealership, I'd have a tape measure, measure it out from, <laughs> from the dash all the way to the back. And this car definitely fits three longboards. So I'm a massive fan. This car passed all the tests. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to give a massive shout out to two different companies that really helped spiff out my car. And that is Top Notch, all the way from the Big Island. They flew all the way to Oahu just to set up my car and make it my actual dream car. Because if I got the car stock and it's like not lifted, I would have just been a little bit sad. And so Top Notch knew what I needed and how to make it happen and check out this setup.
love it. They're actually asking me how lifted I want my car to be. And the answer I gave them was, as long as I can get into the Whole Foods parking lot, I'm happy. And the other company that I want to shout out is the detailer guys who come and clean my car. I only had my car for a few months, but black is like, I'm very happy that I got the black color, but it's kind of gnarly, especially over here with the red dirt. Immediately looks dirty, like it already kind of looks dirty in this video, but they just cleaned it a few days ago and they took like eight hours to clean my car. Believe me, I'm not a dirty person, but sand and dirt here in Hawaii is a whole nother story. Like two seconds later, there's sand in the car. Yeah. So thanks again, detailer guys. And thank you, Top Notch. You both are incredible. I am so grateful. Also love that these seats are really easy to clean. They are that vegan leather. Plastic, basically. Plastic. Plastic leather. Pleather. That makes sense. Is that why it's called that? <laughs> the things that come out of my mouth sometimes. I should leave this in the video though. This is kind of funny. But okay, that is kind of my entire tour. I don't really know what else to show you guys about my car. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I haven't named her. And definitely it's a girl. It has to be a girl because I feel like we're gonna go on girls night out, girls surf safaris. It'll be like, it'll be good if it's a girl. So like I need, I need a buddy. I need a name. So my last car's name was Kitty. You guys are really good at names because last time I went to Maui, I had a new plush toy that I randomly really needed to buy and I asked you guys what to name her and someone commented Hana because I just finished the road to Hana and thumbs up I loved it Jamie loved it we name her Hana we call her Hana all the time now so yeah let me know what to name the car I will 110% be taking one of your guys's comments for sure and if you guys go in the comments and see someone else already comment a name you like thumbs it up because I want to see like which one has the most votes so yeah that would be huge. That would be huge. And that will be my car's name forever. So I'm, I believe in you guys. Send me some good names. But thank you so much for joining me on this car journey. I honestly am just so grateful that I got to finally buy the car that I always wanted. I mean, just being able to hustle and work really hard and finally buy the car of my dreams is insane to me. And I am so grateful that I have you guys to share this journey with. I know we're going to go on some fun adventures together. Us three. I already know. If you guys haven't already, please check out the links in the description below. I am so grateful that Insta360 sponsored my video. Like I said, those are the kind of sponsors that got me to where I am now. So thank you so much Insta360. Their cameras are absolutely incredible. I carry them around in my car everywhere I go. And so is the wave band with the fuel wetsuit, the blenders I wear, everything. Everything's in the description below so it's easy for you guys to check out. And I'll be back again next week Saturday, 9 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You guys know the drill do not forget to comment the name of the car i need your help and just in case you don't miss an upload from me hit the notification bell and hit that subscribe button because that really helps me out you guys hit that subscribe button sorry there's a helicopter that's really loud going by i don't know if you guys can hear it but it's kind of annoying me but i love you guys thank you so much for watching seriously you guys are the best bye Quick update since I'm at my parents' house. There's Sally. Hi. She is still doing some schoolwork and some emails and working on stay psych too, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. But she just got surgery just yesterday on her foot. Realign, Realign my, it. My bones. Hopefully this is the last surgery on her foot, right? I'm feeling good about it. Yay, I love that. Yeah. I'm couch surfing, staying psyched on the internet. Sally's always positive. What, how long do you think you're gonna be before you're back in the water and hanging out with me on the vlogs again? Few months so a few more months and then she's back in the water yeah. send her a bunch of love her instagram is right here send her a message she needs it she'll love you guys forever all right that's just a little update from the house and lulu says hi hello hi lulu